we all want to see Terrence Crawford versus Earl Spence Jr. The reality is that's a bet off, and there's going to be other fights before then. That's just the reality. But with that being said, welcome to Sports Talk with Troy, where I'm a longtime fan with an informed and knowledgeable opinion. If you enjoy my work here, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please like this video. Please check out the links in the description. And let's discuss what I think maybe next for Virgil Ortiz Jr. after he stopped Maurice Hooker in the seventh round of their fight last night. So Ortiz moves to 17 0, 17 knockouts. He is, she does in front of me, but I, I kind of do. 22 years old, so he's pretty young. So he's a bright future ahead of him. And I'll just win. I always talk, I always talk about him fighting someone like Spence or Crawford. And the reaction a lot of people have been, well, he's not ready for those guys. And why I tend to agree with that, that, that statement, I, I don't think it really matters. I think that we're going to see Terrence Crawford versus Vitor Ortiz pretty soon. And here's why I think this, and maybe it's more to do with Crawford than Ortiz. I don't know who Crawford can fight. You know, he's with top rank, so he doesn't have a lot of options there. I always put his name. I, I'm sorry to any fans of his, but Kodob Bakhtiyev, the Punisher, he could really good box from Uzbekistan. I believe for a long time was with top rank, but he may have moved to Matchroom because he was on a, a recent Matchroom card last week. But he still may be the most valuable option for, for Crawford, even with the promotional change in his, in his career. You know, there's talks about Crawford versus Sean Porter. would be a terrific matchup. Sean Porter always comes, comes prepared, always gets a good fight. And because Spence fought Crawford, excuse me, Spence fought Porter, we can kind of make a one-on-one -on -one comparison, kind of. Expensive performance and Crawford's performance before they, before they meet. But Top Rank and PBC, who promotes Porter, don't always seem to, to do well together. Which is one of the reasons why we're seeing the delay in, in Crawford versus Spence. It just seems like Top Rank and Golden Boy, who promotes Ortiz, has a better working relationship. Maybe I'm wrong, but this is, that's what it seems to me. And it's really more about what's available for Terrence Crawford out there than Ortiz's options. So I do think we're going to see Terrence Crawford defend his WBO World Trade Championship against Virgil Ortiz in the near future. I, I believe that could be their next fight. If, of course, I'm right about... Top rank and PBC not being able to put together a Sean Porter Terrence Crawford matchup. But what do you think? I mean, I really feel again we all want to see Terrence Crawford versus Earl Spence. We all want to see that. And that any other fight that they do is really going to be not as satisfying, for lack of a better ter term. I mean, even against Pacquiao or Thurman, and I guess you know, you know, if the Golden Boy going to deal with PBC, maybe a Ortiz Thurman fight. I, I I don't know, but I think we're still I think we're still more likely to see Ortiz and Crawford. That just seems where all the all the roads for are leading for these guys. So, again, what do you think? Please leave in the comments. Please subscribe. Please like. Please check out the links in the description. I thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk soon.